Jones. So what we will do here, uh, let me first show what we have. So in fiber folder, we have server.co. And here we have so far only implementation uh, for two endpoints. It is um, get endpoint, uh, list endpoint basically, right? So where we get requests on a route for entities uh, and we return list of the items. Uh, second one is get endpoint, where we get ID. Uh, we get this ID from uh, parameters, so we have named parameters and redirect this uh, request to our entity repository, which is in memory object storage. Uh, we check if there is any error, any mistakes. Um, and then if we found this entity, we return. If we didn't find, we return error not found, uh, entity not found, uh, 404 basically. If there's any other error, uh, we, we, we return this also like this. So, and, and now I need, I think we need to also refactor this part because uh, what I checked, what I found yesterday, so when you do so, actually this one is ignored. So you don't get JSON. So what I, what, let me do this. Let me go back and open uh, fiber separately. By the way, if you don't, um, if, if you got confused uh, by any of these steps, please let me know in comments. I will explain, I will focus on, on this uh, uh, confusing parts specifically. Um, so this is the same uh, folder, but like without uh, any additional stuff. So here we have uh, this uh, single file server.co. And first thing that I will do, I will refactor this part because when you use like this, um, you don't see actual error message. So, and let me demonstrate this one. And now actually I am thinking how I can demonstrate this part. So first let me open this all pages. So this our entities, like list of all entities. If I, I think it's still loading. Yeah. So on 880 slash entities, we have list of all items uh, paged. So we have paging. Uh, probably we can at, at some point also include uh, paging information, right? Um, so like saying like where, which page is this? So let me take this note. And so this is uh, what we have so far. So if I do provide ID, I will get a specific item. If I don't have this ID, like now I'm, I'm providing one A, which we don't have, I will get not found. Um, so now I need to think how I can get this to this error situation. So let me see in which case get can return an error. Actually, we don't have any error case. Um, bam, 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 bam. Interesting. But I can, yeah. Okay. So let me demonstrate the same, but but using different thing, different part. So what I'm trying to explain here is, um, if you if you return, if you do so and then return, if you do use this JSON, right? And, and you provide this JSON um, payload and then return uh, error, actually you don't return this, uh, this text. So we saw this here. So let me actually demonstrate this here. See if I can uncomment and, and use this. Um, and now let's restart. It will take some time.
And if I go back, so one use case where we show error is paging, right? So wait a moment. What happened? So new error? Yeah, okay. New error and we actually like so what's the point here, right? So in, in this in this case we return uh, a text, right? Um, but we want to return JSON. Like this this is like you see, like this is a point. So we say we have new error but we also provide JSON and it doesn't take uh, action. Let me try also differently. Let me say, so by using so you can actually return error message as a text uh, if this is like what you want. But what I want is even if it's error, I want to return JSON. Um, so let me do like this. So um, I yesterday, for example, I assumed that this will what this will do. It will take this JSON and return internal server error. Server error. I didn't check this documentation, of course. It was just by uh, it was only my assumption, which was incorrect, of course. Um, yeah. Let me see if it started. Come on. Yeah, it is too slow. Let me close some some applications. So I, this one I will keep, and this one I will close. Fiber, I will keep only Fiber and main repository. Uh, has it started? Yes. Okay, so now I get only internal server error, right? Uh, without any explanation. So what happened, right? Um, and we saw that if I do it like this, I, if I use this syntax, I can actually include uh, this error message. So this is one way of doing this. Uh, but in this case, it's not a JSON. But if you want to return JSON, so what you can do, you can use this approach. So here I use two lines, but in first line, I defined my error uh, object, which is uh, text response type with message error. And then I say, I want to return status code internal server error, uh, which is 500, um, and payload, JSON payload with error message. And in this case, uh, what we will see, we will see, yeah, it will still take some time, I guess, or or not. Okay, so now it's done. So, and, and in this case, we see uh, a JSON with our text message and everything is okay. And now let me apply the same uh, apply the same to to get request because this won't work as we saw. And my approach will be very similar. I will say I have error message object here. So this is our a payload object and I still return internal server error and and that's it with a JSON payload. So this is now working example. I will still keep this part, these comments just for for the reference. And let me double check if I did everything correctly. So we have error message. Uh, I'm actually now thinking in background that if I need to return internal server error or, or something else, this is what I'm thinking at the moment. Uh, because, so like, I mean, in this case, it makes sense, right? Uh, we don't know what's, a, what's actual error. But in this case, um, when we know it is a paging error, it actually doesn't make sense. We can return something something else. It's like out of range, I wouldn't consider this as an internal server error. Uh, for now, I will leave it like this, but in, in future, what we, maybe we can do, we can check by error. And if it's some specific error, uh, then we can return something different, not internal server error, but maybe something from 400. Uh, like request 
and, and anyway we will we can check this uh, later so i will do to do items so i don't uh to do uh replace 500 error with 4xx for paging related errors and let me commit this part just to add um, fiber sorry is it fiber yes I, I am i'm confusing this uh, already so um error handling for list and get endpoints 